heading out weekend trip to paris let's go it's actually the first time i ever went to paris we had to take a little drive to the airport which was like pretty close it was only like an hour in the car i think the main issue with this whole travel thing was the airport time waiting around for your bags to get checked in showing your passports and all of that the actual flight was literally only an hour so obviously i needed a nice little nap on the plane and then we finally arrived in paris and it was actually not exactly exactly what I expected. It's very, very similar to London. I've been to London plenty of times, uh, but Paris turned out to be pretty similar. Now, of course, after all that traveling, I rustled up a little bit of hunger. So we had to go and stop by KFC. I've actually been dieting for a while now. So this is kind of like the first big cheat meal that I've had. Let me quickly stop by the Airbnb to eat our KFC and then head out to the main reason why we came to Paris, which was the concert. The opener was JNR Choi or Junior Choi, however you say his name. He literally blew up on Instagram or TikTok with that to the moon song and it was actually pretty cool seeing him live. He actually had a really good performance and played some absolute bangers, which I thoroughly enjoy. And then the main attraction, the reason why we came here, which was Saint John. literally one of my favorite artists. I love his music and seeing him live was absolutely incredible. This event was so much better than I initially anticipated because it was a little bit smaller and it didn't seem too crowded. It was just kind of like a perfect concert. And then of course the next day we had to get some breakfast nursing the hangover. Thankfully they had an amazing place which literally did chicken and waffles which is like one of my favorite things ever. It's a little bit more bougie version of chicken and waffles but still thoroughly enjoyed it. And then of course being in Paris we had to hit up the catacombs which honestly was one of the wildest experiences i've had like seeing freaking bones everywhere was just insane i have never seen anything like it and learning about the catacombs and everything that went down the history of france and paris was incredible now obviously i can't show everything on youtube or at least i think i can't show it because i'd imagine i'd get demonetized I just got done in the catacombs but i don't think i can show any of you guys any of the footage down there. It's basically just all bones and I don't know whether YouTube will demonetize me or something like that. Yeah, we're uh, we're done in there. We're gonna go get some lunch. After the catacombs, we did a little bit of shopping. We went to a shopping center and generally speaking, I'd say Paris is a pretty dope place to go shopping. Like, I think they had a lot of sneaker stores, but unfortunately, I didn't get too much time to actually go to the sneaker stores. I think I saw like a Snipes there and a couple different places. We ended up going to this weird place which had some pretty hyped sneakers but their prices were ridiculous these yeezy slides were 350 euros yeah i know and these are the ones that are like low in price like you could probably pick these things up on StockX for 100 pounds and then the fragment sakai's were 750 we also found a secondhand pair of off-white fours i have no idea how much they were charging they probably just didn't want to put the price tag on and then this random brand be kind they actually did like a rip off of the sakai vapor waffles of course we had to hit up the balenciaga store which didn't have any of the more crazier stuff but of course they had the tire shoes which are always fun to look at and of course the croc boots along with the catacombs we got to be tourists and hit up the eiffel tower which was pretty crazy i'm glad we went at night because it was all lit up and it just looked super cool and then i don't know whether this is like an actual traditional thing to do in paris but we went and got crepes i actually caught this like fully loaded cheese and chicken crepe with like fries on top. And then of course we had to get a Nutella version with strawberries just to be extra. Hey, if I'm gonna be eating KFC, I gotta be going all out. And then we literally sat underneath the Eiffel Tower and ate and that was our time there. We did some other stuff cause we spent a full weekend, but overall amazing place to go. Definitely recommend. I think I'm definitely gonna be going back. Guess what just turned up? All right, guys, I am back at home from a really decent weekend. I enjoyed it. I was out in Paris. Obviously, you guys saw that whole beginning piece. I originally intended on vlogging a lot more of the trip, but there was just so much going on. It just ended up being a little bit chaotic, so I couldn't get that much footage. And as you maybe can hear in my voice, I've come down with something, so I'm a little bit under the weather after that crazy weekend. But conveniently, as you just saw, that package just turned up and it happens 
seems to be an early pair of sneakers. So that's what we're gonna get into today. We're gonna head into the studio and we're gonna get unboxing and take a look at this sneaker, which isn't supposed to drop until like next month or maybe even the month after. So uh, let's, let's get to that. All right, we're set up and ready, guys. So let's unbox it and let us take a look at what we've got inside because I've been waiting on this package for a while now. Special packaging. All right, here you go. This looks very similar to another sneakers box, but uh, let me pull them open and let me show you guys. Here we go, a brand new crispy pair of Midnight Navy 4s. Now, like I said, guys, I don't think these drop until like October, is it? I don't know whether there's gonna be a delay for like you guys out in the US. I know that there's been a lot of delays for Jordan sneakers this year, but yeah, essentially, if all goes to plan, I think these are supposed to be dropping in October. The thing is, I can't look at this sneaker without thinking about the recent $800,000 Nike sneaker trailer robbing. Like that was a story we literally just talked about last weekend where a bunch of people went in and stole a bunch of sneakers from the Nike distribution center in Memphis. They stole a bunch of the Midnight Navy 4s, they took the Cherry 11s and a bunch of other sneakers and it just makes me think like, like what if those people sold them on GOAT or StockX? Like, how do I know this pair is not a Memphis stolen shoe? There's definitely gotta be pairs out there. I don't think we've heard anything of like, did those people get caught? What's happening with that? But I'm in, I'm not gonna think too much into it. This is the Midnight Navy 4. I've gotta break out the military force just to have a little comparison because these things do look very similar. So on top we've got the military black Jordan 4s and underneath we've got the Midnight Navies. Like it's almost the same color. You've just obviously got navy for this one and uh, all over black underneath the speckling. Like, Take a little look, here you go, Midnight Navy, Military Black. Which one do you prefer? It's it's a tough one because these are also super wearable and it's like really nice colors. You could almost at a stretch say that these are like Georgetown colors, all over leather. So obviously on the militaries, you've got the suede toe box, which I think the suede toe box might be the deal breaker for some people. Even though it looks cool, the fact that it can get super like scuffed up and dirty and don't even get me started on if any water or rain gets on this, it messes the suede up completely so that might be something that people consider when they're picking these two if you've seen the freaking prices on the militaries like they dropped and they were i guess not retail but they weren't too bad and now they've skyrocketed to a price where if i didn't get these when i did i would be paying a lot more money for the military black so i think that's definitely going to happen with the midnight navies as well in my opinion i think these are like the best colorways to drop recently they're all super similar i know but like if you're looking for a super wearable colorway of the Jordan 4. These are all absolute bangers, certified. These are too expensive, in my opinion. Like, if I had to buy these now, I'd probably pass. These are definitely getting up to that point of being too expensive. And if you are pretty particular on a price point, I think these might be the best option. I haven't taken a look at these. Obviously, they're gonna come down a lot when they do release. So if you are on the market for a super wearable pair of Jordan 4s, I would definitely wait till October time, around the time when these drop. Try and get in early when the price tanks um, and this could be a really solid option. There you guys have it. That is the upcoming Midnight Navy Jordan 4. If I can actually figure out if we've got a specific release date for this pair, I'm gonna throw it on screen right here. Let me know your thoughts on this pair and let me know if you prefer it to the Military Blacks or are these just your go-to this year. Either way, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I'm gonna love you and leave you right here. Thank you for watching the vlog. Thank you for watching the unboxing. Thank you for hanging out with me yet again for another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.